to the Lakers played last night. It was LeBronzo come to life. And here's my takeaway, and you respond to it. Is it's a bunch of guys who can't shoot and Brandon Ingram. And if LeBron can go 27 a game and Ingram gets to 21 to 22, which I think he will, I think he's the second best player, 8.16 last year, 22, then everybody else can fill in. They'll be fine. But it's a bunch of LeBron and a bunch of guys outside of Brandon Ingram that I can't rely on to hit a three in a three ball league. You take the floor. I think that the Los Angeles Lakers, I agree with what you're saying, uh, uh, but LeBron James figures it out. He downloads people's uh, strengths, their weaknesses. He plays into them gorgeous uh, uh, beautifully. Um, and and, and, I, and I've been saying this. I think that the Lakers, 45 to 50 wins, barring you know a game here or there. But I think when playoff time comes, they're going to be a problem. They're not going to be the eighth seed. OK, uh, 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 they're they're going to give Houston trouble. They're going to give everybody trouble. Okay, But they, they don't shoot well. So you like you see, you like Kuzma. I like Kuzma a lot. Kyle Kuzma, in my prediction, will be uh, an all star. Oh, he, God. no! You know why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. He doesn't need LeBron's Instagram post. Lonzo needs that young king, all this stuff. He knows that Lonzo Ball is fragile. Kuzma last year, no one knew who he was. No one okay. talked about him. Can I, he came in. He played. He's a dog. He's tough. He's an inside-outside guy. He doesn't need any coddling. Okay. You, here's my theory. on this, this is my theory to the audience watching now. Kuzma went to college for four years, so he is much closer to his ceiling. Like Baker Mayfield played. He used all five years of his eligibility. What you're seeing with different Baker— pres, Different okay, sports. But I'm saying Kuzma, he averaged 16 last year. His ceiling in this league is 18 and a half. I don't agree. Ingram came in. He was nine years old. His ceiling, he still got massive expansion in his ceiling. I mean, it's not going to happen this year. Like, you, where's he going to be? Like a 27-point game no, no, guy? No, 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 no. Ingram's going to go to 22 and a half to 23 this year with LeBron. Probably finish top out at 25. You're, because he came out after one year of college. He was 19 years old in this league. He's not even close to his ceiling. When you go four years of college... That's a master's degree. He is ready. You're seeing Kuzma. This is what he is. He, and that's a pretty good this is what he 16 is. 16 a game. 16 a game in his rookie season on a terrible team. Okay, 16 you think a game he's going to be an all-star. I think this year he's going to be an all-star. I think he'll be like the guy voted in by the coaches. He's going to be scrappy. What, he's what, going, what coaches? The G League coaches? The coaches don't the coaches at all the players now. Oh, well, it's all the players. Re regardless, you think Kyle Kuzma yes. is a... An he's all star. An, yeah, absolutely. I think he's that guy on that team. I so don't you think, think he's the two on that team? Yes, in regards to who, like, obviously, uh, it's a weird thing because you have Rondo there, but in terms of the factor, the toughness, we got a guy who takes the shot. He scored 16 points a game last year. I'm not saying he's going to be George Gervin, but I'm saying he's a, he's a big guy, he's a tall guy, he's tough, and he doesn't have a learning curve. He doesn't need to be coddled. He doesn't need Instagram posts from LeBron. The real question is, is, is Colin. We know LeBron James is in Los Angeles, but when will LeBron blames emerge? Who will be the first person that gets thrown under the bus? Will it be Lonzo Ball? Will it be Luke? Will it be Lance? Who will it, will it be you? Will it be Joy Taylor? Because LeBron blames has not <laughs> reared his ugly head in L.A. Come LeBron on. blames doesn't have any murals in Los Angeles, but he comes out and he usually comes out around January, and he's going to come. That's the question. I don't think that's going to happen this year. Well, LeBron really, it's blames. happened every year, Joy. Yeah, but this is a, this is a different thing now. Well, you know, he's playing it, for the first time in his career but he with does literally have, no expectations because nobody expects so anything of this. He does? He hasn't for himself yes. and for his team, but, but no one around the Lakers expects them to. You expect them to win a championship this year? I Every year, he's been expected to get to the finals or win a championship. I think by the time we get to March and April, Joy, Colin, I think things are going to change. This team is going to be a major problem. Listen, as much as I, I break his chops, you could literally put him on the Brooklyn Nets. You could put him on the Orlando Magic. You could put him on the Knicks, and we'd be having this discussion. He's that no, good. he is. I, I, but I do think I said this with Brady. As good as Brady is, if you don't, as a receiver, get to his spot, he gets you out of town. LeBron, you got to hit the shot because if LeBron's not scoring, you have to reward LeBron by hitting his pass because he's a great passer. Yes, this this roster did not have a lot of good shooters. So unless Kuzma, who I think is a marginal shooter, athletic, good kid, plays hard, got a dog, little alpha. He better get become a better shooter. Ingram can shoot. He's a 39% three guy. It's going to be a LeBron Ingram team. By the way, I want, I want to go to two other things that are, are big. Uh, you're a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. They call me Mr. New York. 
That's what they call me, Mr. New York. Who calls you that? A lot of people. When I walk through the streets, they go, Mr. New York. I'm like, yo, what's up, guys? All right. Actually, somebody on the lot actually called me, called me that, even though we're in L.A. today. But people do call me that. Joy witnessed that we were in Vegas for the fight last year. She saw. We, we were I there for the big three. I Michael, but sure. Yeah, it was Mr. New York, too. Okay. All right. Learn something new every day. Yeah, you so, do, Colin, because if you didn't know that by now and I were like friends, <laughs> it really kind of hurts me. Sorry. Um, you'll get over it. Okay. Odell Beckham. I defend Odell Beckham because there's an elephant in the room in New York and somebody's got to discuss it. And Odell Beckham's saying, well, the GM won't discuss it. The owner won't discuss it. The players won't discuss it. And this is not the NBA. It's the NFL where about three guys a locker room can talk or they get demoted or shipped out of town. And Odell's like, I'm going to talk about it. Eli's not that great. What's wrong with that? Well, what's wrong with that is you knew Eli wasn't that great at the point that you signed your $94 million contract. 65 is guaranteed. I don't count other people's money. God bless him. You knew that. You also knew that going into week five, because that interview that he did was before week five, not week 16 and you've been one in 15. The Giants still have a chance. That division is, is up for grabs. Totally. Okay, so for him to do that now, and then they lose the game and he, he comes out and he says, oh, if this is what we needed to get the team together. The team didn't come together. Great. C- Cano kicked the field goal. But <clears throat> doing that didn't help. Historically, it didn't help. Well, we could get to Jimmy Butler or not. It never helps going to Josina, going to Joy, going to Colin, complaining. When does that help? This is not the Sopranos. You're not with Dr. Melfi. Okay, stop complaining. If you want to talk to a guy. I, I, I see Joy backstage. I, I, she, I'm complaining about Colin. She goes, talk to him. I knock on the door, Colin, I got a problem with you. I never said that because I love you. But I'm just saying, if you, I did. You believe in confrontation instead of talking through the press. It doesn't have to be confrontation. We could say, listen, I could tell there's a problem going on. And this is coming from a guy. By the way, you're a New Yorker. Peyton Manning got benched for Brock Osweiler. Eli Manning can't be criticized. His brother's a Hall of Famer, got benched. We're stating the obvious. You knew that Eli was heading into his last years. But what was more disgusting and frustrating and really insulting to me is when she asked him, are you happy being in New York? And he said, that's a tough question. We're not in South East Czechoslovakia. We're, we're, even if you're in Cleveland, Orlando, or, or, or some other place, or Oklahoma City, you just don't say that. But we're talking about New York City, the greatest city on the earth. Okay. And you're going to say, that's a tough question? That's a tough question? Do you like Not everybody's going to play for a Los Angeles team. And, and the way the Giants are playing, you'll be back in L.A. Uh, come, come January. Because we ain't going to make it to the players. There's going to be no February with us. So it's like you get to spend half the year in Los Angeles. It ain't all that out here. No disrespect. That's oh, very nice. I, I, no disrespect. I've been out there for a long time. But it ain't all that. It's pretty close to all that. It ain't, it ain't all that, Colin. I drove home yesterday off to my right surfers, off to my left palm trees. What are they looking at in Sheboygan? It's pretty good. It, but it, you're talking about New York City. Odell, explore the city. Get yourself a slice. Get a slice of pizza. Uh, get yourself a hot dog. Uh, it's not just Soho at the Gucci store. <laughs> Explore the city. Put a baseball hat on because you know what? It's New York. We've had bigger stars, and there are bigger stars enjoying the city. Leonardo DiCaprio walks around all the time. There's movie stars. There's actors. There's Rihanna. There's Jay-Z. Explore New York. It's not just like, you know, little shopping sp- places downtown. It's disrespectful to the people. It's like, that's a tough question. To New York? Where do where, 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 where you think we're not in, you know? Come on, man. Okay. You drop passes, too. And Sterling Shepard's over there trying to rip, rip garbage cans apart because of you. <laughs> okay. So Joy and I disagree on this. I don't believe crazy people, people can be uncrazy. And if you hire crazy people, they'll be crazy. And just because a bell rings, they won't stop being crazy. Joy doesn't like McGregor Khabib doing what they do. What did you make of the spectacle, uh, the Barnyard musical in Vegas over the weekend? I'm controlled crazy. I'm not a fighter. I don't support uh, any athletes going into the stands. Anything could happen. Uh, uh, um, So, listen, there's been 228 UFC events. It happened one time. We all know what happened in the NBA. It's happened in hockey with those lunatics. Yeah. And the Boston Bruins started beating guys in Madison Square Garden with (laughs) shoes. Yeah, yeah. 
Remember so that? This stuff happens. It, ha- it happens. It's not good. I don't celebrate it. I like trash talking. I, I love UFC. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an incident. Fortunately, it didn't get totally out of hand. You know, McGregor- and they'll move forward. It's not the end of the sport. We make it the end of the world. What about those animals with the Boston Bruins beat the guy with his own shoe? It's one thing to beat a guy up. It's another thing to beat him up <laughs> with his own shoe. No, I would I would say this. I would say this. I saw Khabib yesterday talking to Putin, Vladimir Putin. So, uh, but let me support. Let me support it. it, it let me support. Support uh, Khabib is that in his country they talked about religion, his family. It was incredibly personal, and Conor McGregor does this, and it's part of his shtick. But you know what? In the fighting business, it is personal. You don't have a left tackle. You don't have a shooting guard. You don't even like golf have a caddy. You don't have. You are in a ring against mano a mano against another guy. If you go personal. This is the kind of crap that happens. He, Conor McGregor's got a responsibility. You start talking about my kids, my family, I'm agnostic, but if I was religious, my country, y- my family, y- y- this is this is boxing. You, and, and, you can't and, go there. And and Conor, you know, he talks he talks about it. Khabib is really about it, about it. So again, He's got to pay the price. There should be a fine. I don't think anybody should be leaving the, 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 the ring and the cage no matter what. Even if you're going to taunt another guy and you're in control, that needs to stop. But the UFC will be fine. UFC 230 is going to be in Madison Square Garden. Yeah. I'm Mr. New York. Yes, I'll be there. <laughs> um, I didn't like seeing it happen. I don't support it. Yeah. Um, but, but Conor McGregor, just as a fighter, his best days are behind him. The two wars with Diaz, the one he won and the one he lost – Tough wars, getting punched in the face by Floyd Mayweather, wasting your money, partying, and then this loss. The the great Conor McGregor days, are they're done. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.